What is up, Sopranos fans? Kino here, and I'm back with another Soprano log. Uh, this time, season one, episode eleven. Nobody knows anything. Um, now, this is when things really start to get cooking. Um, so let's get into it. The episode opens with the guys at a bordello, a whorehouse. Um, they're there having sex with some girls. Um, when Pussy throws out his back, there's a really funny scene where they have a doctor come in. And the doctor is dressed up in this, um, you know, maid uniform. He was clearly having some kind of fetish sex with uh, some of the workers. But um, just a really, really funny image right there. Uh, the next day, Pussy is busted at Jimmy's club. They find guns there and um, Pussy tries to run when the FBI show up. But obviously, you know, he's a fat fuck. He gets caught, but he's released from jail pretty quickly, which... McKazian tells Tony is because uh, Pussy has turned informant. He lists a bunch of reasons why um, one of his uh, FBI acquaintances told him that Pussy is an informant, uh, which Tony really doesn't want to believe. Like, Pussy is one of his closest friends. He doesn't want to believe that he has betrayed the family like that. Um, but there is a lot of evidence for it. Pussy begins acting really strangely. You know, he's constantly complaining about his back. He's not collecting payments. Tony talks to Melfi about this. And Melfi suggests that to uh, Pussy might be dealing with guilt. Uh, the back pain might be a psychological response to feeling guilt about something. And then Tony really starts to consider that um, Pussy might have turned rat. Um, so he, he tells Paulie to investigate. Um, he wants him to be absolutely sure and see the wire before they make any move against Pussy. So Paulie takes him to a sauna um, and wants to you know get, to get him naked so that he can see if he's wearing a wire or not. And obviously Pussy does not take off his clothes. Um, he says it's because the, the heat of the sauna is bad for him. But we're left to wonder, you know, does he have a wire on? Why does he not you know, want to get naked? And he's acting very suspicious. Tony discovers, however, that um, Vin is into pussy for a lot of money, like $30,000, um, which might be a reason for him to want pussy gone. He might be lying uh, to get rid of him so that the debt disappears. Um, but before he can confirm with Macasian, the bordello is raided and Vin is caught there. He's suspended from the force, obviously, because he's, you know, doing something illegal. And then he commits suicide um, by jumping off the bridge. You know, this is the last straw. Um, he's got nothing going on in his life, and he decides to just kill himself. Um, this leaves Tony in a bad spot. He doesn't know now whether he was telling the truth or not. But when Jimmy is released from prison, um, he goes over to Tony's house um, and starts asking him, specific questions about you know their crime and it's very clear that he is an informant now you know he's even circling around tony like a snake um, he's trying to get information he's clearly wearing a wire um, so tony realizes that jimmy is the rat but nobody knows where pussy is pussy has disappeared um, he obviously got scared and ran away um, so nobody knows what's up with him at the end of the episode though tony sells livia's house um, she's very upset by this. So she tells Junior about the meetings Tony's been having in the old folks home with the other capos. And Junior assumes that um, this is a move against him. He, he assumes that Tony um, is plotting to take over. And he decides that he has to kill Tony before this happens, um, which is exactly what Livia wanted. She knew exactly what she was doing. She's very manipulative. Um, and she wanted to have Tony killed for treating her this way. Um, which obviously Mikey's very happy about. You know, he's telling his wife all these things. It's funny, actually. He's, you know, complaining about Tony breaking the rules by talking to um, to Shrink. Um, but meanwhile, he's telling mob stuff to his wife, which is just as, you know, against the rules. Um, so they're all hypocrites. A couple of things I noted in this episode. There's a really weird title um, where it says four days later when, when it cuts to Pussy getting arrested at Jimmy's club. Um, I don't re recall another instance of them, you know, doing like a four days later kind of title card like that. There's a lot of weird editing in this first season, as I've mentioned before, but um, I just noticed that. Another thing I noticed was when Pussy is leaving uh, the meeting and Paulie goes to talk to him, you can see uh, on on a door nearby it says um, American Club Members Only. Um, so obviously that connects to Members Only, the jacket and the theory behind you know, who might have killed Tony in the last episode. Uh, not sure if it has anything to do with, with any of that. 
Um, but I just noticed the members only thing. It's definitely intentional. Um, it might just be a reference to, you know, being a member of the mafia, but that detail is there on purpose. Another thing I noticed was Tony mentions offhandedly that um, if he was in McKazian's position, he wouldn't bet football. And later on in season six, we when he's doing his gambling um, and he's really deep into it, he's he's betting football. Um, so it's funny to see that he's he's fallen that low, that he's become a degenerate gambler, um, just like he he mocked McKazian for being. Um, and speaking of McKazian, um, we get a lot of great development with his character here. We see that he really wants to be Tony's friend. Um, he likes Tony, the bordello mistress um, who he was close with, tells Tony that uh, Vin really, really trusted Tony um, and looked to him like a friend. Um, so Tony feels a little bit guilty about the way he treated him all these years. And we can see... In season five, in the test stream, he dreams that uh, Finn's father, who he's having dinner with, um, is Macasian. He, he he plants his face on the dad. And so we can tell that Macasian meant something to Tony, too. Um, and that's why he's still hanging around in Tony's thoughts. Um, but yeah, that's the episode. Things are really starting to get cooking here at the end of the season. The hit is going to be set up soon against Tony. And I can't wait to explore that episode next. <laughs>